In this video, we're going to be finding probabilities from a cumulative distribution function. And we're going to be finding a PDF from a CDF, so essentially going backwards from a, C a cumulative distribution function back to the original probability density function. So in order to do this, I'm going to look at a type of question that may come up in an exam scenario. And I'm going to deal with the first point first, which is finding probabilities from a cumulative distribution function. So we're asked to find the probability that x is greater than 2.4. I'm also going to add another question in to this. So I want to find the probability that x is between 2.1 and 2.7. So, just added a second question, we'll deal with both of them. Back to the first one, where x is greater than 2.4. I'm going to sketch what the cumulative distribution function may look like. So, we know that it's a positive quadratic between 2 and 3. So, it's probably going to look something like that. And we're asked to find the probability that x is greater than 2.4. So if I mark 2.4 in on our diagram, we need to find the area greater than 2.4. So this shaded area here, so to the right of 2.4. Now, the way the cumulative distribution function works is that if we substitute a value into our function, it will tell us the area from the start up to that value. So if I do f of 2.4, that is doing a fifth of 2.4 squared minus 4, which, when we calculate that, we'll get 0 0.352. Now that isn't actually our answer. That is the area to up to 2.4, so that area I've shaded in blue. But we know that the entire area under a probability density function, so the entire area under a cumulative distribution function as well, is going to be 1. So to find the probability that x is greater than 2.4, we need to do 1 minus f of 2.4. And f of 2.4 is 0.352. So our final answer should be 0.648. Okay, so that's the, the first question done. Now, um, dealing with the question that I've just put in as a bit extra, again I'm going to sketch the graph, because this may help us, between 2 and 3. And we want to find when x is between 2.1 and 2.7. So we want this area in between those two points. So to find this, we're going to find the area up to 2.7. So from the start up to 2.7, that entire area there and then take away the area up to 2.1, so taking away this white area that I'm pointing at now. So to do that, so to find when x is between 2.1 and 2.7, we need to do f of 2.7 take away f of 2.1. And that will give us a fifth of... 2.7 squared minus 4, take away a fifth of 2.1 squared minus 4. I've just substituted in our values, 2.1 and 2.7, into our formula. That's why this commutative distribution function is so useful, because we can just substitute values in to get the, the probabilities. When we work out this sum here, we're going to get 0 0.576 as our final 
probability. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to showing you how to find a PDF from a, a CDF. So that's part B, finding the probability density function from our cumulative distribution function. I'm going to go to a clear page. And so if you remember from my previous video, to get from a PDF to a CDF, we have to integrate. And then to get back from a CDF to a PDF, we have to differentiate. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So for this part B, we need to find dfx dx, so differentiating the function. And so when we do this, I'm going to multiply out the, the bracket. So I'm going to have x squared over 5 minus 4 over 5. And when we differentiate that, we're going to end up with 2x over 5, take away nothing. So that's our final equation, our final function there. So we need to write what fx is. So fx is 2x over 5 when x is between 2 and 3 and it is 0 otherwise. Now just a quick note on notation before I finish the video. For PDFs where the, we've got a little f, it's given as 0 otherwise. Not including, so you've got all of your, fun your function, you may have more than one function for fx in between certain values and then 0 otherwise. For your cumulative distribution function, the capital FX, it tells you the probability is 0 when x is below the lowest limit, and the probability is 1 when x is above the top limit. So that's an important distinction in notation between the cumulative distribution function and the probability dis density function.